next fellow work who's coming up, Christopher Wheeling, will be a feature next month. Chris is quite fascinating with his work, and he is just, through the years, just been getting higher and higher and higher. Chris is strange in the respect that when you look at haiku with its compact, expansive ability to interpolate beyond the words, Chris is, has more than a haiku. His five, six lines, but he paints such extraordinary pictures. I don't want to deflate it, but I want him to ex have you experience through his own Christopher Wheeling of the fan. And he gets you all worked up now, time to disappoint you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You know, I should have read this one last month. Wistful views the echo chamber. Occasionally, a stranger tries the door. Our once inviting home without glow, they walk on. Windows frame lifelessness. Our sound box remains silent. We move and mourn across the street. Dissidents hoping for a revival. And we got a revival. Okay. Now, I usually don't write political poetry, but uh, I tell you, they're forcing my hand. <laughs> Regarding Steve Bannon. <laughs> As entertained as we are by the puppet show, we are encouraged to fire arrows at the grotesque marionette. Points hit true with no effect on the performance. And that's the game. To effect real change, take aim at the hand that pulls the strings. Thank you. Okay, back to the usually regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> Bearing in mind, uh, Hayden, you told me to stretch it, so I'm going to stretch it. Okay, yeah. A little preview for next month. Titans. These islands made when the titans fell into the sea and stone became their blood, their flesh. Upturned hands opened to the heavens, cup now towns, towers on fingertips. Their seaports descend, wrists cracked over millennia, where wave meets shore. The people whisper their nights for fear of waking the giants, but fear for naught. The titans are long dead, and the gods will never forgive them. Amnesia. A 747 circles the tundra, seeking its black box. The object of desire lies in a crack of rock where, if left to its own devices, will knit a blanket of moss. The arctic fox will pause, let the hair pass, as she sniffs this stranger to her lands. The jetliner will eventually forget why it is here, and resume course the recorder left to keep company with lichen. <laughs> Ariadne's gift. The maze is of our own making, the minotaur as well, and the twine to find our way held in the small of your bare back. I have not forgotten, and carry the sword you concealed in this labyrinth. Guide me, for the only rope I wish to follow is the braid that is draped over your shoulder. All of this is our creation. You, me, the maze, and all the monsters between us, all crafted one and the same. We made ourselves. We made the maze. And cutting the twine may seem cruel now, but time will reveal the gift. We must find our own way home. Yes. And I 
think I will close out with this one. The skull on my desk. It's not really fair, my friend. This conversation is always one way. I want to listen. You wish to speak. Yes. Thank you.